West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin that Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer has not told him he's got to hold the line when it comes to opposing President Trump's nominee, Brett Kavanaugh. This will turn into a battle over key senators for confirmation. Joining us now, Dave Brown, a Democratic strategist and former senior advisor to Washington Senator Patty Murray. And Fox News contributors Katie Pavlich and Mark Thiessen, welcome to all of you. Hi, Shannon. All right, great to have you with us tonight. Dave, I'll start with you. Um, we had already heard from your former uh, boss over the weekend that there was an opposition to this particular, or whoever was going to be the judge, uh, worried about rolling back Roe v. Wade and civil rights and all kinds of other things. Is that an overreaction? No, it's not. If anything, it's a reflection of the real stakes that are issue here. I mean, th th this isn't a political game. Uh, real people their lives are at stake for how this court rules. And I think you saw that in, in Senator Manchin's statements earlier today when he said his chief priority is to the people of West Virginia. It's one of the reasons why he's going to be focused on uh, Judge Kavanaugh's views on whether or not people with pre-existing health conditions can be discriminated against on the basis of those conditions and the judge's views more broadly on, on health care and his judicial philosophy in terms of how he would look at Obamacare. You know, we talk about Obamacare inside the Beltway as a fun game, but for people out in America, who are relying on Obamacare for their health insurance, their family's health insurance, uh, that's, that's real stakes, that's table stakes. And so this, this matters in terms of who the next justice will be and what a 5-4 vote can mean next term. Well, and Katie, it's interesting because there are actually conservatives who are worried about Kavanaugh because they think he wasn't tough enough on the Obamacare uh, legislation when it came before him as a judge. That may be true, however, based on the press releases that I've received and my inbox is going more quickly than I can read them, uh, they like this choice, whether it's Second Amendment groups, whether it's pro-life groups, business groups, across the board, uh, people are very happy about this pick. And politically, because Democrats have already gone so far to the left in their extremism and recycling arguments, as Mitch McConnell said today on the Senate floor, uh, we've already seen that uh, they, they really don't have a chance to kind of come back from that. Reporting out tonight shows that Justice Kennedy actually was advocating on behalf of Kavanaugh behind the scenes. So on the one hand, for about 10 years, you had the left praising Kennedy as a moderate, as someone they could rely on on the court. He was then, uh, you know, stripped of his gay rights hero status as soon as he uh, announced his retirement because the left said that President Trump is now going to appoint his successor and that Kennedy was a bad man. Uh, the American people are smarter than the left gives them credit for. They want substance. It is fair for everybody in the Senate to question Kavanaugh's record. It's long, 300 opinions in the last 12 years. However, going after his character, engaging in, uh, you know, scare tactics and not going after the substance and simply making arguments on emotion really isn't going to fly. Um, Mark, I want to ask you about something. As we talk about the need for Republicans, if they want to be successful with Kavanaugh, to hold together mm -hmm. uh, Senators Collins and Murkowski, possibly try yep. to pick off a Democrat or two. Um, something interesting that I know that Senator Rand Paul has expressed some concerns about Judge Kavanaugh. And one of the things I think he probably has on his radar is this is from uh, Judge Kavanaugh opinion, talking about, in my view, the government's metadata collection program is entirely consistent with the Fourth Amendment. Um, privacy advocates left and right are, are going to have a problem with that. Um, do you think that Senator Paul makes peace with that? Uh, I'm sure Donald Trump will, get, will do his best to get him to do that. Uh, but actually, that is really the red states Democrats' uh, greatest uh, fear, is if someone like Rand Paul uh, defects. Because, look, this is going to be a disaster for red state Democrats, because if you saw that, you saw the firsthand that crowd on the Supreme Court steps, imagine what they would do to a Democrat who gave his vote to, to put Brett Kavanaugh on the Supreme Court. They're going to throw everything that they have at this guy. It's going to make the Bork hearings look like a kumbaya session. And the red state Democrats are caught in the middle of that crossfire because the left is going to be demanding that they vote to kill Kavanaugh's nomination and their constituents in these states that Donald Trump won by 20, 30, 40 points are going to be demanding that they vote yes. If, they, if all the Republicans hold together, then it's a free vote because no one cares if they're the 51st, 52nd, 53rd vote. But if one Republican defects, Manchin, Donnelly, Heitkamp, they become the deciding vote. Yeah, they don't All of a sudden, do that. politics <laughs> have changed completely. Yeah. All of, they, don't, they do not want yeah. that situation. Well, I, so they're, we're so almost out of time, so I, to I need together. to ask each of you, not whether you want him to or not, but whether you think or not Kavanaugh will get the votes that he needs uh, before the midterms. Dave, we'll start with you. 
Yes or I, no? I think it's too soon to tell. We need to see his record, and we need to see the thousands of pages from the Bush administration that he had a part in. All right, Katie? I think he'll get confirmed. He seems like a moderate, middle-of-the-road guy. It's very clear the Trump administration was very careful in selecting him for political reasons, knowing this would be a tough confirmation uh, fight. I think he'll get confirmed, and I think that Rand Paul even will come through. Mm -hmm. All right, Mark? Uh, Democrats' worst nightmare would be if it got dragged out, because right now they have an enthusiasm uh, advantage they going do. into the midterm right. elections. If they're holding up Donald Trump's nominee for the Supreme Court, that's going to get the right galvanized, that's going to get Trump supporters moving, and it's going to cost them the United States Senate and uh, pickups in the United States Senate and maybe even the House. Mm. All right. Mark, Katie, Dave, thank all of you. There was definitely no kumbaya happening uh, out there on the steps, but there is here tonight. <laughs> Good to see safe. all of you.